angel underneath Innocent and sweet I was always on Facebook a total obsession. I had Twitter too, but nothing beat Facebook. Not even my beloved soccer club. I was constantly posting, editing my profile, uploading pics, accepting friendship requests. How many do you have? Kind of like when I was a kid, what is trading cards? She had only two. Her best friends, very old fashioned girls. They didn't meet online, but at a coffee shop. They tried to tell her I wasn't right for her, but is there even such a thing as right? You just settle for what you get. Men and women meet. They attract each other. And if they are lucky, they stick together. If not, you get stuck like her. At home, we never talked much. I was too busy, always bent over my computer. Social networks are a full-time job. There are requests to reply to, messages to write. You have to tag, share, log, update your status. I was used to work there till the wee hours. She thought we would be closer if she got a profile. At least she hoped we could communicate. Online was better than nothing. So I set up one for her. I listed her favorite music, The Boss, The Beatles, Bob Marley. But she insisted to choose her favorite films. Pretty Woman, Notting Hill, Ghost. Relationship status, engaged. She clicked like and typed a similar face then another one, then a little heart. To tell you the truth, I suspected we would like our relationship to be a bit less virtual. She craved for more attention. She was really demanding, and she asked me for more. When she posted a kind of ultimatum, I turned off the computer at least on Sunday morning, I was forced to click dislike and post a sad emotion icon. She left me, but I didn't notice. She really didn't know how to get through to me. So when she updated her relationship status, single, I finally realized. It really got under my skin. The humiliation of being dumped on the internet, right under the eyes of thousand virtual friends. She could at least have been more discreet. Could have told me face to face. I just shot her right in the head. As she fell to the floor, she said, you got green eyes. I remember them. 